Hey, Ryan Kearns here. How do you handle a really bad day? Yesterday, I had a really interesting experience where, you know, the day started out really, really bad. And to be completely transparent and honest, I believe I can do that with you. Um, I was crying. I was feeling really upset about certain things in my life and the way my life is. And I just felt down. I felt sad. I wasn't having a good day. But instead of, you know, maybe like binging Netflix or, or eating terrible food or, or doing something reactive that, that I would regret later, I actually had a very, a pretty positive experience for the rest of my day. And I actually ended up turning my day around to where by the end of the day, I said, wow, that was a good day. And so I just wanted to hop on and share with you what I went through, the things that I did once I realized I was starting to have a bad day, because I know that if you're having a bad day, you can implement some of these things in your life and start to see a real difference. You'll start to, you know, be able to come from a, a place of abundance and happiness and you can actually turn your day around, which was extremely powerful for me. I'm sure it will be powerful for you as well. Before I get started, make sure you click the like button below this video. It helps the channel out a lot. I would really appreciate it. It helps YouTube know that this video is cool and that people will like it. Also hit the subscribe button if you're interested in content like this, because I upload videos very often, you know, multiple times per week, I upload a video about these specific topics, about happiness, health, entrepreneurship, finances, you know, basically just living your best life. I call it expand freely. So in order to expand your life and live a life that is worth living times 10, click the subscribe button below so you can see the next video. All right, so I'm gonna get right into it. So the first thing I did once I was having a bad day and I was actually, you know, I kind of broke down a little, I was crying and you know, all that, I wasn't good at all, terrible, terrible morning. I decided, you know, I have to get alone, right? I don't know about you, I live with other people. I have a wife and two kids. I have other people that depend on me. I have other people that are in my life that I'm always around and I can't bring that to them. It's not their fault. It's not them who deserves to have to deal with that. And they don't need to, you know, experience that. It's something that I was experiencing, not them. So first thing I did was I got alone in quiet solitude and I let myself, you know, really feel the feelings that I was feeling and feel the sadness, feel how it feels to feel that way. And that was the very first step. And that's what I would recommend for anybody else too. If you're feeling down, let yourself feel it. Get alone, be with yourself. Give yourself a little bit of self-love by, by taking that quiet time to do nothing. Literally do nothing. Just feel the pain, the sadness, whatever it is, okay? And, and maybe think about possible solutions, but don't worry too much about it. Don't worry about finding solutions. Don't worry about trying to reorganize things or fix things. Just let yourself feel it. That's what I did yesterday. And it was the first step in turning my day completely 180 around. The second thing is I did my daily practice. Now I do daily Kundalini yoga. Um, which allows me to kind of awaken the fluids in my body. It allows me to, to tune into whatever, you know, the, the greater picture of the universe. It allows me to tune into myself and it allows me to breathe. Um, and doing these things always makes me feel pretty good. And not to mention that it's a daily practice, right? It's a daily practice. It's something that I do every single day for the most part. I can't say every single day because that's crazy. I, you know, I try my best to do it every single day. The reason why I, ha I do this every single day, whether it's a good day or a bad day, is so that when there's a bad day, I have that thing that anchors me. I have that thing that is remains the same, remains there for me when I need it. Okay, when things are turbulent all around you and things are going crazy and you feel like you have no control, you need that thing that remains consistent no matter what. And for me, that's Kundalini Yoga. It can be whatever your daily practice is. It could be a journaling practice, a meditation practice, a yoga practice. It can be, it can be pretty much anything that you like, a writing practice. It can be whatever. 
but you have to have something that stays consistent so that when things go wrong, when things get crazy, we're all humans, right? Things will go wrong. Things will get crazy. When that happens, you need a steady place to put your time and energy, a steady place that remains consistent no matter what. And that, that helped me tremendously because after that, I really started to feel better and I felt like, okay, today's going to be another day. It's going to be a good day if I choose to make it a good day, right? And sometimes with my Kundalini practice, I'll even have breakthroughs or, or moments where I I, you know, solve the problem or I figure out how I can really increase my life, really expand myself and really get through this in a much more positive way. So that's sometimes this didn't happen yes yesterday. I just was able to ground myself and feel centered and feel positive and move throughout my day. So the next thing was I went outside in nature. Okay. So, so if you've noticed so far, these are all very positive things. These aren't things that I'm going to regret later. They're not things that are going to make me feel worse. They're not binging on Netflix and they're not, you know, uh, eating a tub of ice cream. Well, those things certainly have their place. I'm not here to down anybody's way of dealing with their emotions. It is, it feels much better if you can turn your day around without those vices, without those things that cause you to really clamp down and, and kind of end up hurting yourself in the long run for some short term happiness. Okay. Because that, those types of happiness are really just dopamine releases that don't actually fix any type of situation. They just make you feel a little bit better for an hour and then it goes away too. So if it, that's just going to go away, then you're kind of just left flat where you were before rather than using the things that actually build a good life in order to bring yourself gradually out of that state. And so that's what I did. I went outside, got myself in nature with my family and soaked in the sunlight, soaked in the grass, the trees really allowed myself to get grounded and present in nature with no electronics, no, you know, BS, no technology, just literal myself, my body, my family and nature. And it was beautiful. It was a great day and it helped me tremendously from that point forward. My day kind of was turned around already just from doing those few things, getting alone, doing my daily practice and getting outside in nature. I was able to turn my day around. And finally, I just wanted to mention the final thing is I continued to eat my very healthy diet the entire time rather than sliding into eating junk food, eating processed BS or eating, you know, ice cream, whatever it is. Instead, I continued eating the way that I've been eating for the past four days as I'm, I'm actually going on a month long journey with diet that's called it's a grow a new body program. I'll make another video about that. Just hit the subscribe button below so you can see that other video. It's really, really powerful stuff. Really, really crazy. You're going to love it. So hit the subscribe button so you can see that. And my point is that I continued to maintain a healthy diet, put positive, powerful, alive foods into my body, which helps me you know, maintain that me a positive mental attitude thinking, okay, I'm going to be fine. I'm still doing the things that matter. I'm still taking care of my body. I'm still allowing myself to, to, to reach that, those maximum heights of who I want to be, even though it started off as a terrible day. So hopefully some of these tips help you. If you're having a bad day, you can really pull from this and, and use some of these things that I'm talking about in order to turn your day around. I'm telling you, once I started doing these things, my day flipped upside down. I went from, you know, crying and not feeling good and feeling like my life kind of sucks to <laughs> flipping it upside down on its head and remembering how grateful I am for this existence and, and, and really just being present and available for myself, my nature, the nature of the world and my family. And so it ended up being a great day. And I'm super grateful that I actually did that. I'm actually really proud of myself for being able to pull myself out of that situation. And that's why I made this video. I can't say that there's been many times that I've done this successfully in the past other than this time. And so I really just had to share it with you because I know it could help you. And you know, that's why I'm here. So 
you need anything, comment below. Don't forget to hit that like button so YouTube knows that we kick ass and hit the subscribe button so you can see the next video that I upload. And thank you so much for watching. My name is Ryan Kearns and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey free thinker, this human life is more amazing than we give credit for. The pain, the fun, the creativity, the mistakes, and the connected, shared experiences. We are here to expand. Let's do it together.